This is your girl, Shell T. If you don't get it real, you won't get it right. What's up, you guys out there? This is your girl, Shell T. And I'm simply embarrassed. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we have such a treat for you today. You guys know that this is something that, oh my gosh, I'm super excited. Um, we are here today because as I've been telling you guys, I am going to actually get my huh, first face and feet. <laughs> first of all, I'd like to introduce you guys to an amazing, amazing individual. This right here is Miko. professional makeup artist and she's right here from the Bay Area uh -huh. and she has like uh, lovingly decided to be the first person to do my makeup. <laughs> <She's gonna laughs> beat me. <laughs> I'm no, excited I'm like, to be here. Oh. I'm super excited. Oh my. Very, very special moment for you. Because <laughs> y'all know me. Y'all know this is not this me. Is, yeah. <laughs> this is, I mean, I'm like Carmex and I'm good. I'm ready to go. So we are getting ready to get the setup. Um, oh, um, Ibera, can you hand me that bag? Yeah. What's this bag? Wait, no, it's right here. It's right here. What is this? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna need them. What? What the? <coughs> what? What is that? Oh, because you guys said you're gonna do a face beat. So I, I needed yeah. to get my gloves to make sure that um, if y'all got out of hand, I was gonna be able to defend myself. I, I'm a run. <laughs> No. You're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. You, 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 don't, you don't need them. No, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. You're in good hands, okay? Okay. All right. I'm going to be in the hands, though. Yeah. <laughs> you sure? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and go with, <laughs> with this. Those are I don't cute. think you need Maybe those. Maybe we'll use them for a different time. Yeah, I think so. No? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Okay. Relax. All right. All right. Relax. Well, guess what, though? <laughs> I want to go. Because I want to see you when you're done. This is very important. <laughs> Else. Yes, okay. so I'm gonna go and come back in when you're done. How about that? Handle <laughs> your business, Nico. Oh my gosh. Two hours later. Okay, everybody, here we go. I'm gonna see it when you guys see it. All right, so everyone's gonna get to see the reveal together. Yep. So now it's time for the whole world to see Shell T's very first face beat. So on the count of three. One, two, three. Wow, Miko, I look amazing. You're like a magician. Yeah, I'm more like a real Harry Houdini, I tell you. No, I, I look so young and just like I did in high school. Wow, look, she's speechless. That's how great of a job you did. Yeah, yeah, I, I am speechless, that's for sure, sis. I can't wait to show Jay Lee. He's gonna be shocked. Now, I know you're not used to this yet, so you just gotta be careful. No rubbing your eyes, no sneezing, no coughing, no going out swimming, no breathing through your nose. Keyword, careful, okay? That's okay, oh my gosh, wow. Yeah, when you show Jay Lee, he, he is gonna be shocked for sure. I know, I look great. Hello everybody, this is your girl Shell T, and we are here with a very important public service announcement. Yes, we want you to know that all of this was for fun. Unfortunately, there are a lot of women who are victims to being beat beyond recognition, and we want to help. If you are out there and you experience picking up your child and they don't want to get in the car, unfortunately, you've been beat beyond recognition. Or if you get home and your spouse doesn't even recognize you. Hey, can I help you? It's me. Me who? Unfortunately, you've been beat beyond recognition. Well, now there's help. You don't have to be a victim anymore. Just call 1-800-WHO-ARE-YOU. That's 1-800-946-7968. And a professional makeup artist like Nico will be there to assist. Make the call. The lines are open now.
Yo, man, I just finished the inventory. I just need the keys to... Yo, what's this? They got me in that van with those canisters. What type of product you got me delivering? Pitching eight drugs from block to block. Hey, you better relax, homeboy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is your girl, Shell T. And I'm out. Welcome, welcome, everybody, to the Say So to Grow segment of the show, and we're here today. I'm David, David D.A. Santiago, and I'm here with an interview, with a special interview with a comedian named Shell T., an amazing comedian who's doing so many great things, and we're here to find out more about her and what she's doing. Welcome, Shell T. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys having me. It's so awesome and amazing to be here. Pleasure having you. Pleasure having you. So just tell us a little bit about your background and how um, how everything is going with yourself. Ah, man, God is awesome. He has done some amazing things. I am currently in my 16th year of being a comedian, um, 24th year of being a wife, 35th year of being a parent. Um, Sorry to hear that. <laughs> right? You see, I had to go. I, I went to a deep place. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the Lord, Whoa. Jesus, 35 long numbers. years. Wow. But I ain't been to prison, so God is a keeping God. Hey. <laughs> He's yes. faithful. <laughs> yes, yes. So, yeah, uh, you're doing a lot of new projects and doing some really big things today. Uh, being yeah. a comedian for 16 years, besides being a parent and a wife, is, uh, is a journey in itself. Yeah. Tell us yeah. a little bit about some of your, your current stuff. Uh, you're working on a stage play. Well, um, actually, we have a um, production that we're putting together. It's called Fed Up and Finished. Um, we're going to be producing and releasing that um, at the end of this year. Um, Tuberl Entertainment, which is our entertainment company. Um, we are a management company and a production company. And so um, we have a few artists that are coming out and, and releasing some really nice stuff. Closing out 2020 with a bang. Um, my husband and I, we have been... In the business for over 20 years, we have done stage plays. We uh, met as uh, rappers, <laughs> so that's how we got together. Um, and then uh, we produced a movie called Restored Me. So we've kind of been in oh, every wow. realm of entertainment there is, um, which is pretty cool. And we're also pastors. so. We're in ministry as well. <laughs> so my recent DVD, So Many Hats, kind of covers all of those, you know, um, breakdowns of different roles that I've played over the last few years of my life. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't date yourself, right? But I'm cute, you're though. I'm cute. You're, baby, only, so you're only 25, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, hey. Uh, as long as he feels you're cute, so I mean. Okay, okay. You are. I kind of no. felt like you did, David. <laughs> <laughs> like David Angel, Santiago. Oh, got me. <laughs> so I'm government names. It's appropriate out there. name. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> appropriate for the show. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know the uh, everything that everybody does in entertainment, it's really good to hear that you transition into kind of the background and. Uh, the business side, um, mm -hmm. that's something that a lot of people or up and coming artists really know how to do or should know how to do, or at least watch somebody who does that or transitions into that because it's right. important to make sure that you take advantage and you maximize the potential of your craft. Right. Um, right. So when was, when was the time that you felt it was important to do these things? You know, it's, 
funny. Um, we have always been um, kind of forward thinking when it came to things like that. Um, we started doing plays um, probably about 10 years ago and producing our own plays and things like that. Our first project, when we first met, um, we produced on our own. So we had kind of always been in that um, executive producer mindset. So um, being artists was definitely where our heart was, but we were always in a place to where we wanted to kind of own what we did, create our own stages and opportunities. And even still, my husband, we just recently opened up a barbershop um, here in Fairfield in the Bay Area. So um, we kind of have that entrepreneurial spirit. So I think that's where it comes from. And plus being in comedy and raising children, you know, you don't always have the opportunity to be out and be on stages and trying to, you know, vibe for stage time. And so I've been blessed to be able to create my own opportunities and own platforms with self-producing the DVD. I did a tour last year in 2019. And so um, doing that and creating opportunities for other individuals have always kind of been where we uh, platform from. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, you have to take advantage of all the resources they have today. And that's uh, very important to use right. social media and you know other outlets. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that, that the, the title, Restore Me, uh -huh. of your, your film project? Yes. Tell us about that. What's that? Uh, Restore Me was a um, awesome gift. It's actually available on, um, on demand right now. You can get it on all digital platforms, Amazon, Hulu Plus, all of them out there. It's a story of restoration. It um, talks about a young man who went to prison for something that he didn't do. And he kind of spends several years in prison. He gets out. And the story is about him being restored back to the person that he was originally intended to be in the first place, wow. which I think that's our journey in life. You know, right. we start right. off and, and life deals us a lot of different cards and things like that. And coming into the relationship with Christ and the understanding of who he is and whose we are, we get an opportunity to be restored back to the original person and places that he intended for us to be. Mm. How do you and your husband, because you're, you're both, you said you're both pastors, right? Mm -hmm. Very much involved in the church. How do you balance that kind of, see, I'm a writer, so I know there's a lot of stuff that comes from the heart and then there's things that can be effective to a lot of people and that's real. How do you balance those things, understanding that you never want to be offensive to anybody, but you also want to give it to people real? Well, that's the beauty of what we've been given in the, um, the gifts that we've been handed. Um, I'm a clean comedian, so my comedy is clean, period, no matter where I go, what I do. Um, even the movie that we produce, we are the writers, my husband and I and John Nitta wrote the movie. And um, so... It was very important for us to be able to tell the story, but allow the story to be told amongst any group of individuals. So um, I believe personally at life itself is shocking enough that if you honestly tell a story about life, that it doesn't really necessarily need all the other pieces that people think make it real. Um, and so if the story is told well, then it will get the same effect. Just like if comedy is done well, it will get the same effect without all the other added <laughs> conversation right, pieces right, to it. Because right. life itself is funny and it's real and it's it's shocking. <laughs> and if yeah, you tell yeah. the story well, it, it, it will usually come across that way. You have a comedy special called So Many Hats. Yes. Uh, mm, yeah. I found it very interesting because, and I think it's it's pertinent and people need to hear this, like you may jest and have little different things that you talk about when it comes to parenting. <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, we all can find humor in that, I'm sure. Oh, but, yes, uh, especially now. You see, you see, yeah, it seems like that that's something that you're, you know, your, your strong point. 
uh, parenting and, and kind of making fun of parenting and, and those things that go with that. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, well, I've been a parent for 35 years. Um, my, my oldest daughter is 35. My youngest is 15. And we have seven children. Now we're a blended family. And so, um, you know, I have one biologically. My husband had three biologically when we got together. And then we adopted three. So, um, yeah, so, so parenting, I have kind of been in every aspect of it. And God has been faithful because I literally have not done jail time for it, not once. So <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> that's how I know God is real because, yes. um, you know, it's hard. It's hard. And, and parenting is hard. We always heard there's no book, which, you know, the Bible is is real sound, like there's a couple of scriptures, tra train up a child in the way that they should go, because one day they should go, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, the other one I love, beat us the child and it surely shall not die. You know, it's just <laughs> being able to be a parent and especially in this day and age, but okay. know that the stuff you deal with and the things that you're going through, it's not just you. You know, you, you are one of many and Kids are, it's, it's a tough go. I mean, you know, my 17 year old, um, when he was 17, he ran away from home. Mm -hmm. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> One of us had to go. <laughs> yeah. well, they say maybe that's not a bad thing, huh? <laughs> I pay rent, it might as well be you. Yeah, just... <laughs> right? <laughs> More food in the fridge, right? So. I mean, my 17 walk, year old, he walked around my house like I lived with him. And not just like I lived with him, but like I lived with him and I was behind on my rent. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just, just the attitudes and things like that. And parents, they, they get to a point where they just feel like they just want to choke kids out. And what right. I'm saying is that what you're feeling is normal and it's OK. You're feeling that. You know what I'm saying? If you feel it too much, go upstairs, lock the door, take a nap. But <laughs> what you're feeling is normal and they need to hear that. And when they do, they hear it and they can laugh about it. And it just gives you a reprieve. It gives you an opportunity to take a step back and realize that you're not crazy. Your kids are. And you're going to be all right. <laughs> Some of the best comedy, um, and I'm not an expert, but it's stuff that we can relate to. And yes. even as a writer, uh, when individuals read my stories and they can relate to the characters, that makes them feel like they're really part of the story. So definitely I get that. And that's something everybody can deal with because raising children is definitely, definitely different than it was 10, 15, 20, 30 years yes. ago. So, so. And especially so, now yeah. since parents are teachers and kids are in the house all the time and you didn't realize how much you appreciated dropping them off at school and get that little eight hours away <laughs> from your kids. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that was, that that's what makes uh yeah that puts yeah. a lot of things in perspective yeah. this year with COVID yeah. and everything. Yeah, you mentioned like even the kids being you know their sense of self entitlement and uh, of entitlement. Uh, it's amazing and a lack of appreciation for the things that we've changed for a lot of kids today or our kids is because when we were growing up. I mean, I know you're only what twenty eight years old. When I was growing up, you know, I was, yeah, you know, you know, our parents used to tell the story of them walking 50 miles of school with no shoes. Right. And then we talk about, you know, we didn't have TVs or, you know, color TVs until the 80s and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, that's interesting that, uh, yeah, they, they, they don't show their appreciation for all the things that we made it easier for them today. Right. Which I think is kind of <laughs> our fault. My kid came up to me one day and was like, I want a phone. I want a smartphone. I said, shoot, I want a smart kid. <laughs> guess it's safe to right. say we don't always get what we want, do we? You know? <laughs> and, and, and you can get that smartphone when you start being smarter, right? Start doing hey, something in school at the next I, level. Yeah. Right. Get a job. How about that? Pay for your phone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's smart, right? Hey, right. Yeah. <laughs>
I'm, I'm in a different stage in my life. Um, Tom talked about kids, but Tom has little kids. I have seven kids. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> no, that's just not a good thing. <laughs> No, I, I have seven kids. My oldest kid, she's 35 years old. Now clap. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, well, you're cute. That's 35. Um, my youngest is 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the one that makes me think about doing prison ministry. Yeah. <laughs> As I tell her all the time, I said, I get it. I understand I'm in a different stage in my life. I get it. I, I, I understand, you know, because I'm saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Spirit. I get it. I said, but I was raised on gangster rap. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone before you get it. <laughs> 17-year-old, um, he ran away earlier this year. Oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> One of us had to go. <laughs> Figure since I pay rent, it might as well be you. <laughs> Seriously, my 17-year-old walked around my house like I lived with him. Not only like I lived with him, but like I lived with him and I was behind on my rent. <laughs> kids nowadays, they're different. They, they're different. And, and, and I understand now because kids nowadays, they're getting raised a little differently. Do you guys remember a television show used to come on a long time ago? Um, 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 the, the Nanny? <laughs> Y'all remember that? I, 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 it used to blow my mind. Because I, I, I used to watch the show. And it would start off the same way every time. Every time. It would start off with the parents being interviewed. And, and, and the parents would be like... <laughs> I just don't understand. <laughs> He's so demanding. <laughs> And I'm like, he's three. <laughs> the show would get to going on and, and, and the, the nanny would tell the parent to discipline Timmy. Timmy going off. Mommy, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. And hit his mama. The mother would be all discombobulated. She wouldn't know what to do. She'd be stuck. The nanny would be standing in the corner like this. <laughs> Then remember, she would come over there and she would go, no, no, no. This is not acceptable. <laughs> this is what I need you to do. It needs you to come down to his level, look him straight in the eye, and firmly say, Timmy, you get a time out. <laughs> see, Provo, I know I'm in the right place. Because, <laughs> see, I see you thinking like I'm thinking. Because, see, if it was you and if it was me, it'd be a whole different show. <laughs> Timmy gets to going off. Mommy, I hate you, I hate you. Boom. Hit me. <laughs> Commercial. <laughs> hey. Did you know Dry Bar Comedy has its own app? Go ahead and download that right now. I need you to get your whole life together. Download the app so you can watch my whole special. See you on Dry Bar. Another one you have is uh that's done really well um in the drive bar series is uh do it for you. Yes, is yes. Mothers especially, you know, we gotta start taking care of ourselves. We gotta start, you know, working on ourselves, taking some moments for ourselves, because that's gonna help us get through the process as well. Um I recently I, I you know started um taking care of myself, eating better, and I started working out. You know, uh, started off slow, started off walking into the restaurant instead of using the drive-through. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or using one of those uh, little machines. What do they call Walmart? You can get a little cart things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was right trying now. to beat that rap. I didn't want to. I didn't want to be that person and just got in the cart because I didn't feel <laughs> like walking. Um, you know, yeah. I realized that when you start dropping stuff and you got to have like a conversation before you pick it up. I was like, yeah, it's probably time to do something <laughs> different. <laughs> <laughs> but not taking time yourself, working out for yourself. Because like I thought to myself, first of all, I need to start working out because my kid was working out and he already th- he already thought he could take me. So <laughs> I, said, I said, yeah, we'll give you a run for your money, buddy. But um <laughs> But then, you That's know, when you wanna... acting like he was paying rent, huh? <laughs> right. <laughs> but then it's like you want to be there after your kids are gone. You know, you want to mm-hmm. invest in yourselves. We spend so much time making sure our families are taken care of and our children are taken care of. And our kids are going to grow and go. And then what do you have left? So taking mm-hmm. time for yourself, doing things for yourself. So you can have a life after you finish being a parent. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I'm actually in, as well as everybody here knows that I'm in the fitness and that's one of my, you know, one of my things I've always done for years um, to take care of yourself and, and the way that I eat and not yeah. drinking and smoking yeah. and stuff like that. But I've always felt, even when I'm, you know, helping other people that this is, you know, important because you're taking care of everybody else. If you don't take care of yourself, right. you won't be there to take care of everybody else. So you know, you got to focus on you, you know, and, and they, and those that are getting help from you should want you to be there as well. So it goes both ways. Yeah. I used to tell them all the time, if you messed up and I died because I was trying to get you together, don't stand on my casket talking about, I'm going to get it right now. Now you better stay (laughs) messed up. (laughs) (laughs) Don't get fixed now. (laughs) You You better walk this thing on out. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. Yeah, so they yeah they definitely uh you know being in that world for me is just is very difficult sometimes when people you know we always use the uh, analogy you can bring them to the to the water but you can't make them can't drink make them so drink. <laughs> yep. and I'm like well you know the best I can do is just be a good example of how you're supposed right. to live or try to live you know so uh, another one that's doing really well is um, love and like uh, about marriage. <laughs> That has to be amazing, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, because God knew what he was doing when he separated love and light. Love is Mm. everlasting. Light truly comes and goes. It goes. It's fleeting. It comes and goes. I mean, I don't like zucchini, but I love to eat. Yeah. Yeah. Good one, yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's life. It's just really breaking down life. And that comes when we're talking about relationships. You know what I'm saying? Like, you love your kids, like you love your spouse, but there are times that you don't like them and it's okay. You know, it's the love that keeps you together. The life, the like is going to be there and it's going to go away. And, and when you know that, you know, especially with couples, when you know that, you know, okay, I don't like that about you, but you realize most of the times that what you don't like about that person is what is your opposite. So it makes it complete when you guys come together because there's certain things that you do that he doesn't do or or, or certain things that I do my husband doesn't do, certain things my husband does that I don't do. But when we come together, all the pieces are matched and met. And so, yeah, love and like, it comes and goes, but just remember that love is forever. Yeah, so someone who has been successful in marriage and actually is helping other people what would you, what would you, what would be maybe the first thing that you would give them as advice to a, a up and coming couple? Um, no, that is not, you don't get married on your wedding day. <laughs> you, was just, you was all euphoric and, you know, your girdle was tight and he looked good in his touch. But <laughs> that was the day you said, I do. And, and right. now, now will you? Will you stay together? Will you stick through it? Will, when you realize that, you know, I didn't even know you snored in your sleep. And why does your breath smell like that when you wake up? <laughs> when those moments come. Right, right. 
that's wow. when you know you really do. <laughs> right, right, right. Wow. I that's tell funny. people all the time, if you really want to know if you were somebody that's going to stay with you, fart. Fart around them. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and they can take that that's, smell, right? Yeah, it means forever. <laughs> When they done released everything on the inside of them and you can still stick around, that's when you know <laughs> you got them. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Mothers, we, we put a lot into our family. We put a lot into our children. And I got to a point in life where I decided I was going to do some stuff for me. I was going to take care of myself. So I started working out. Yeah, clap. <laughs> I started realizing that I wasn't doing things right. I wasn't being very healthy, so I had to start doing some things differently. You know, I, I, I started off small because when you get to a point where you, you drop things and you have to have a discussion <laughs> before you pick it up, I'm like, oh, oh, that's, that's way down there. Uh, <laughs> hmm, yeah. yeah, I didn't need that money anyway. It's, things, you know what I'm saying? I started walking. Yeah. Oh, into the restaurant instead of using the drive-thru. <laughs> Baby steps. <laughs> but um, actually, I, I did. I started, I, I joined this club. It's called P2P. Um, and, and it's extreme workouts and things like that. And throughout the process, I lost 40 pounds. Yes. Yes. See you over there with that little smug look on your face, talking about, well, dang, how big was she? <laughs> that ain't Christ-like. <laughs> but I did. I'm in better shape, in better condition, and I, I learned that I learned a lot of things. I learned a lot of things throughout this process. Like, do you know God created us perfectly? We are created perfectly. You guys know the normal temperature for the body is 98.6 degrees? Yes. A little higher, it's a problem. A little lower, it could be a problem. Perfectly. I learned throughout this process that when we eat things that are a lot of processed foods and things like that, that what our body does is it doesn't recognize those things. So it starts to build fat around it to protect it because it doesn't know what to do with it. So I was like, oh my gosh, all this time, I wasn't fat. <laughs> I was overprotected. <laughs> God is so good. <laughs> learned throughout this process that um, there's sometimes that, 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 that there's things that happen to us, certain things that we eat, and it's not even like weight. Sometimes we're just bloated. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes we just eat certain things and it just bloats us up like, you know, it's gas. Some of y'all fart. You'll be 20 pounds lighter right now. <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. Hey, did you know Dry Bar Comedy has its own app? Go ahead and download that right now. I need you to get your whole life together. Download the app so you can watch my whole special. See you on Dry Bar. I'm married, any married couples in the house? Give it up if you're married. Yes, ooh, that's what we do in Provo. We get married, okay? 23 years, 23 years I've been married, 23 years. Amen. Amen. And now I, I'm, I'm at that point in uh, life where I, I absolutely love my husband. And I also like him. <laughs> you know, anybody know you've been married. God knew what he was doing when he separated love and like. <laughs> love is everlasting. Like truly comes and goes. Amen. <laughs> I mean, shoot. <laughs> I don't like zucchini, but I love to eat. <laughs> 23 years though, um, you know, and, and I got 
gotta give it to my kids for the amount of time that we have been together and, and how, how long we've been together because, you know, 23 years is a long time. You go through some ups and downs and, and you know, we got to a point as, that we were gonna kind of end it. We were gonna just kind of go and get divorced. And we started going to court and things like that. And, you know, then we got into a battle about the kids because neither one of us wanted custody. <laughs> It's like, you get the kids. No, you get the kids. Well, forget it. We just gonna stay together then. <laughs> but 23 years, you learn some things. You figure some things out. You understand. You think, because you, you, you don't get married on your wedding day. You literally, you were in there. You were in the moment. You were all euphoric and a little lightheaded because your girdle was tight. <laughs> and it was like, you know what? Yes, I do. It's 20 years after that, if you could still stand there and say, yes, I do. But after 23 years, I've just learned that men and women are different. It's just, it's just different people. Um, for example, um, I've learned men don't close drawers. <laughs> drawers, cabinets, I don't know what it is. I, I, I don't, I, I figure maybe it's like an allergic reaction that takes place when they have to close it. It's hard for men to find things. Hey, babe, 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 do you know where the ketchup is? Babe, you know where the ketchup is? You know that, you know that red bottle? Did you just move to the side? <laughs> that was it. <laughs> After 23 years, I don't know where my husband's keys are. <laughs> Babe, you know where my keys are? No, honey, I don't know where your keys are. <laughs> Next day. Babe, you know where my keys are? No, honey, <laughs> I don't know where your keys are. Now, I need you guys to help me out. Wives out here, help me out. If you can follow with me, this is what I tell my husband. And if you can catch on, just, just write this out with me. If you put your keys, come on, y'all, in the same place every night, the next morning, you'll know where they are. Can we give God a hand praise? <laughs> yeah, husbands, I don't know you. Hey, did you know Dry Bar Comedy has its own app? Go ahead and download that right now. I need you to get your whole life together. Download the app so you can watch my whole special. See you on Dry Bar. Um, you talk, uh, I think everybody can help but to talk uh, about this year and what's going on with the amazing election, uh, you know, the abuse and, of course, probably the one thing that um, no one could escape was the pandemic uh, right. being affected right. by it. And, uh, you, you, you know, you mentioned, uh, you know, women, and, you know, men and well, everybody just overall dealing with quarantine and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I literally enjoyed watching God move through this 2020 <clears throat> You know, if you had your eyes focused on the right place, you saw him show up and show out in major ways. I literally said to myself that including everything, 2020 has been one of the best years of my life. And I understand we dealt with a lot of loss. I understand we dealt with a lot of chaos, but I literally saw God walk on earth in several different aspects of life and especially in my life. And as I kept my eye on him, we're now in the middle of November. We're now going into December. And so I can look through the year and say, as long as I kept my mind stayed on Jesus, I was able to weather the storm. And even with the whole election thing, you know, I know Trump is, he's, he, he's given me a lot of material. But I do have to tell people that he has literally inspired me, you know? And some people, they wonder, and I, I think to myself, you know, shoot, 
I don't know about you, but I ain't never in my life thought I could be president. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Facts there. <laughs> if he can do it, all of us can do it, right? Right. Anybody. <laughs> I told my grandchild, you know, you might have a chance. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even finish school, you still got a chance, right? Right. I'm like, Oprah, you can be president. You can be president. <laughs> you can be president. You can get an office. You can get an office. <laughs> These days, shoot, forget president. Exactly. You still can be mayor or governor or something. Jeez. Right. So for 2020, for a comedian, I am stockpiled, ready to go. Stop. Wow. Material. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. So uh and we're coming to the end of what we're you know your interview and um what do you what else you want people to know out there about you? Um I want you guys to know that um God is real and he's faithful. Um I remember there was a time in my life where he brought my heart scripture to me and I believe everybody gets one where he places a word on the inside of you that that motivates you to move. And my scripture was delight thyself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. And so um, there was one moment in time I was sitting in the car and I was waiting for my husband. We only had one car at the time and I was waiting on him to get off of work and I would just sit there for hours. And the Holy Spirit was like, well, why don't you read the word? And he brought that scripture to me, delight thyself in the Lord. And I thought to myself, you know, I didn't really understand what it meant to be delighted by God and God alone. And when I did that, the very next day I did that and um, I started reading the scriptures. I started reading the word and I got a phone call to do a comedy show. Mm -hmm. And so it was him saying like, if you make me your joy, there will be nothing you can't have. There will be nothing you won't be able to do. And what I would tell everybody right now is that believe it, believe the word, trust the word. He is, he is, he is working as hard as he possibly can to give us an opportunity to live out our dream. And so um, with that, if everything else stopped today and all I had was God, I would be delighted beyond imagination. And that's what he wants from all of us. That's it. Wow. <laughs> what can I say? That's the way it's supposed to close out. But we want everybody to know, uh, tell them about where they can find you, contact yes. you, get any information about you. Of course, you got to plug yourself and get those people that are listening to this great show right. to be able to find your stuff, uh, where you're performing, whatever. Yes. So you can find me at Shell T C H E L L E T everywhere. If you Google me, everything will come up. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, follow me, or you can go to my website shelltfunny.com. We have amazing things that are happening coming up for 2021. We have a television show that we're producing. We also have some productions that we're doing under Tuberl Entertainment. And um, check us out, ride with us, and watch God do it. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Everybody check it out. Find, it, find Shell T. Get all the follow her shows, follow her Instagram, all social media, all those things. Pick up her stuff. Uh, check out our movies, stage plays she's coming out with, everything that's going on. I'd like to thank everybody for watching us on the Say Show to Grow show uh, segment with Shell T, this amazing comedian with this amazing show that we're having. And everybody follow us and keep keep tuned in and keep watching us. Thank you all. Say so. Peace. How many of y'all got issues with keeping toilet paper in your house? You don't get it. You put toilet paper in, you come back, toilet paper gone. You buy 28 rolls of toilet paper the next week, ain't nobody got no toilet paper. I couldn't understand. It was the toilet paper monster coming in and eating up all the toilet paper in the house. 
So the Holy Spirit told me, he said, tell him to bring you some tissue for your nose. Brought me some tissue for my nose. Whole hand full of tissue for my nose. I said, well, my goodness, if you're giving me this for my nose, So I said, uh-uh, that's it. I said, four squares per use. That's it, four squares, four squares per use. And you know, my kid's crazy enough to, to believe I'm crazy enough that's gonna be an issue if you ain't using four pairs. Like, I'm sitting in the bathroom with you counting the squares. <laughs> but I noticed that it was working because the toilet paper was lasting a whole lot longer. And then now, it's our responsibility as parents to teach our kids responsibility. So I said to myself, I said, you know, it's time to kick this up a notch. I said, it's time for you to start paying for your own toilet paper. <laughs> you ain't never seen a kid respect nothing until he watching pay for it. Start paying for your own toilet paper. Now, how many of y'all got that kid with that first job and that first check? All of a sudden, they can pay your bills. <laughs> with a $300 check, but they walking around, they chest all stuck out. So my son, I told him, you're gonna start paying for your own toilet paper. He gonna walk up to the aisle. And I saw him, right? And he looked and I kept on going. I could hear him four miles down. Water toilet paper, $18. say train the child up in the way that they should go, amen? Because yeah. one day they should go, amen? <laughs> but I saw the training stuck because when he got home, he was walking down the hallway talking about, everybody get four squares per use. Hello everybody, welcome to Winnie's Knowledgeable Moments and this is the moment where I'm going to be sharing my knowledge with you guys on different products that I've tried out that I believe you're going to get the best bang for your buck because I know for me, I love a good purchase. I love when I spend my money and I'm just happy about the purchase that I made. I don't feel like I've been robbed. I don't feel like I've been cheated. I feel like it was a good purchase. My money was well spent. Right? Right. Okay. So let's dive right in because I don't want to take a lot of time, but we're going to do it. Dive right in. Bam. So this little handy dandy doohickey here is the 9-in-1 skincare system. All right. This system comes from Jaffa Cosmetics. Okay. Um, what can I say? It is really a handy um, system. It covers it all. You can use it on your face. You can use it on your body. You can use it on your feet. When I realized you were using your feet, it, that was the game changer for me. I was like, cool. You know, um, so, you know, it has the brush for your body here. Then it has, you know, the ones here for your feet. And then here's the facial ones. And, you know, it's just a wonderful little product here. Um, the best part is it's on sale right now. It's on sale for $69. For $69, you get the system and these three products. Okay, so you get a product for your feet, a product for your face, and a product for your body. Um, so you get to experience the whole, you know, the whole shebang. Um, I love it. All right, so that uh, if you want to check that out, you can go to www.jafra.com forward slash new beginnings. Okay, that's www.jafra.com forward slash new beginnings. And uh, like I said, this is it's on sale $69. You get three products with it, can't beat it. I'm actually going to go purchase one myself because this is just for me to try it. I can't, I gotta go buy my own. <laughs> 
All right, second product that I have here. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Ever since I bought, now this I actually bought because this is mine, but I had to share it with you guys because, ladies, for those bad hair days, you know what I'm saying? Look, uh, this is a head wrap. Now, we know the things with head wrap. They're so beautiful. You love them. You want to try it. We just don't know how to wrap it, right? Right, okay. This is already pre-wrapped and sewn. Look at that. This is not flimsy, people. This knot is not coming loose. This is stitching with elastic. Look at that. This elastic holds it on your head. It's not coming off. Then she has this beautiful stitching in here from the boutique, Slade and Sassy. That's the boutique. And, you know, the materials from Nigeria, very sturdy material, okay? The satin lining, very sturdy, not flimsy at all. Um, and she made it by hand. It looks like a machine did this. I'm not kidding you. Like, I'm not getting. So now you, and you just slide it on. And honey, I just love it every time. Look at it. Get the Holy Ghost. Ain't going nowhere. Yes. Yes, I love it. Sladeandsassy.com. Go check her out. She also has these wonderful. Look at these. These are lip glosses. This one is my my favorite. This is the um, the rose uh, oil, rose oil uh, lip gloss. And you know, like I said, it's got a little because I've used it, but. And she's made she made these. She made the lip gloss. She made the literally. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead, girl. And then this is another one, and it has glitter in it. With a little bit of color, pretty much. But go ahead, SladeAndSassy.com. Check her out, ladies. Check her out. All right, now we cannot forget about the innards. We have to make sure that our body is functioning at the peak at its peak so that we can you know give God the glory and be able to do all his will out here and you know what I'm saying yes we got to be healthy so Pam can't forget this is a uh, herb it is um, a natural herb it's from a company called called upful blends upful blends okay um this, now, it has different blends on the website, and I'm going to give you the web address to get to that, but this particular one is called uh, Food for Blood, um, and it cleans your blood. It cleans your system. Uh, one of the three of the products that are in this blend here are the um, dandelion root, um, the sarsaparilla, and the burdock root. These three products... Um, together are just uh, I mean they clean your system the health benefits are so much so that I would just have to I would be here for another about 45 minutes or so but let's just say that the dandelion root um, it relieves the liver disorders of anemia uh, urinary disorders acne digestion um, just to, to, to uh, hit on a few um, and it's anti-cancer. That's the dandelion root, okay? Sarsaparilla root. We have what? It's an antioxidant. It's anti-inflammatory. Um, it's a diuretic. It has diuretic properties. Okay, so that, and then the burdock root. The burdock root cl contains insulin. So it's going to help if you have, if you have uh, diabetes. It's, it's going to be an um, uh, asset for you to um, add this to your arsenal. Food for blood telling you I take this every morning um, wonderful product the link to uh, go to um, up for well, you can go to up for uh, blends just google it and you'll be able to find it okay so thank you for joining me at Winnie's knowledgeable moments I pray that something has blessed you during this moment and go with Jesus don't forget if you go with him, he'll go with you. I love you.